Next, we're going to be putting in a wider region, which is some high-level clouds here in the back here. We're going to do this very similar to our surrounding layers here, and that we're going to use some medium, and they're going to start spreading this around in here. Now, initially, you're going to be like, what's the big deal? I'm just painting white on the back canvas. And fair enough, that is what you're doing right now. But when we get further along, you're going to see this is going to provide like a nice faded backdrop. So fill in all the canvas. Sometimes people even just leave the canvas blank if that's what they want to do. But I actually like going up here and then blending in the layer. When you have the white, you can then kind of make it blend into this blue. Like so. Now see like this nice blending effect here? The one thing though you have to make sure and watch out for is that your brush does not get too blueized. Otherwise you're going to have to get a new brush or clean your existing brush. Now we're going to extend this region over here on the other side of the canvas as well. Again, blending in the blue. What's most important is people always tend to forget here. You see these trees here? You're just going to paint in these trees? No, 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 no. You got to have background in these trees too. So definitely bring some of the white down here to make sure that you have a nice pale background behind the trees. This is going to make for a wonderful contrast once you actually put in the trees. It's much more interesting than just having a blank canvas or what worse yet, a canvas which is very ill-defined. 